when I was on the mission, I wanted to build a museum for the Aboriginal people to preserve their culture. And uh, I had been collecting things, bits and pieces that they had brought to me. They were making things. And uh, I had brought up from the monastery a collection of rocks, minerals, fossils and gemstones to uh, get the people interested in uh, a museum. And it was decided by our administrator to build a stone museum. Now the stone in that area is King Leopold sandstone. It's enormously, inconceivably old, uh, maybe a thousand million years. And the area used to be four kilometers higher. And it has gradually been breaking down over the millennia, leaving pillars and monuments and grotesque figures of all kinds. Uh, wonderful to sit up on top of and look out over the hills. And I used to go to this place called Ansgar Rock. I didn't call it Ansgar Rock because that's my name. I just used to go there to meditate. And my little old Suzuki, which was held together by Carfil, was parked down below and the people would drive past and they'd see my little car and they'd look up and they'd see me under the overhang on the top of the cliff and they'd all start yelling and shouting and so they began calling the place Ansgar's Rock. Well, this area is full of rocks that we can lift and we decided to build the museum in stone. We carried stones of all shapes and sizes, some of them huge, uh, using various m manipulative operations to move the stone. And finally, when we completed the wall, the problem arose how to put the purlins up on top of the stone wall to hold the, the roof on. Now the purlins were heavy steel and we were 500 kilometers from the nearest town. We had to uh, deal with it ourselves. And my administrator, he said to me, you're the priest, go and ask God what to do. And I said, thanks very much. <laughs> so I went off and I said to Jesus, I said, Jesus, I'm going to praise you for our problem and I'm going to thank you for uh, the, the size and the, 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 uh, the state of the problem that it is and I'm going to thank you for your perfect plan for us. I said, not because I want to manipulate you but because I don't know what to do and I don't can't conceive what you as God could do uh, in, in an ordinary human way to solve our problem. So I just praise you and thank you for all of this. And then I came back to my friend and he said, what did God say? I said, he didn't say anything. I said, he's not about to be sitting up smoking an old clay pipe or something and chatting there with you. I said, you're dealing with infinite spirit. You're dealing with God himself. So uh, he walked away. Within the hour, for the first time in our history, down the road came a crane. It came from Stryker Mine up on the King George River and they're bringing the, the, the crane to the barge landing to take back to Darwin. Now, the, the truck driver said, I can lend you the crane as long as you have a crane driver. He said, otherwise I can't give it to you. Now the man from the, 
from the powerhouse he spoke up and he said I have a license to drive a crane so before the afternoon was up we had the purlins up on the top of the stone wall and had begun putting the roof on so it was a, a very clear indication to me that Jesus wanted to have this museum and was giving us his support. So one day I said to the mission staff, why don't we go out to a place I have called Lisa's Labyrinth because it is a little waterfall which produces three or four lovely pools underground, under the ground level. If the waterfall comes down in, and it's all open and the, the ground level is up on top. And so they walked around looking for artefacts because we knew that the old bush people had been there because we could see evidence of little bits of broken quartz lying around all over the place. They walked up and down for some time and I could see we were getting nowhere so I sat on, the, on a stone and I said to Jesus, if you want us to find artefacts to make the Aboriginals proud of who they are and preserve their culture and history, uh, I'd really love to find them. I said, if you don't want me to find them, then nothing in the world would make me want to find them. So I said, I just praise you now for the fact that we can't find any artefacts and I thank you for your perfect plan. So I sat there watching the others, thinking to myself, it's time to go. When I had a, felt an inclination to look down by the side of the stone where I was sitting, and there on the ground was a quartz spearhead. And I said to Jesus, did you put that there? not expecting an answer, of course. But that's the way he looked after me. I found artefact after artefact for that museum, all authentic ancient artefacts. And they're all sitting up there now and the people are so proud of that museum because otherwise everything would have been lost. <laughs>